Well, Rick San Nicolas is a master feather worker, one of the few left in the world to create feather capes and helmets the way that the ancients did. The former Hawaii resident says practicing the art helps keep him aging well. He tells KITV4's Diana Ko he's now working to teach the dyeing craft to others. And then the orange color is on the, is on the tip of the feather. So a good pheasant would probably yield about 15 to 18 usable feathers. And, and that's it. Master feather worker or Kumuhulu Nui Rick San Nicholas is painstakingly putting together a traditional Hawaiian feather cape. Just that full triangle will take me the, almost, a, almost a day to complete in the orange feather. This will take him hundreds of thousands of hours to finish. He's been making feathered symbols of the royal court since 1999. Keeping ancient Hawaiian feather work as far as the feather cape making the traditional styles, um, you know, the, uh, the mahioli or the, or the feather helmets, the traditional kahili. He taught himself how by reading, talking to elders, and studying existing works, and he loves it. It's probably one of the most important parts, you know, of, of the old Hawaiian culture and into the future, too. This is from one of his many exhibits. It is our dream, again, so that future generations will not only see this in books, and see it in the museum. They'll be able to see it on another lead in the community. San Nicholas says it's important to him to share the knowledge as well. He teaches in person and online, including several royal orders. There are so few people that are that know this work and are doing that, and there are even fewer that teach. Rick San Nicholas. Kumuhulunui, or Feather Master, thank you so much for talking to us about your work for Aging Well, Diana Ko, KTV4 Island News.